Hello, everyone. <laughs> I don't know why I've got the giggles. So, yeah, welcome <laughs> to the <laughs> of Witchy Business. Um, so we had the thought, Em's just shuffling a deck of cards and um, she's going to pull a card and we're just going to flow from there. Maybe we pull a couple more, but... Um, yeah, we said, oh, we'll just do a really short episode, pull a card and talk about it. But knowing us, we'll probably go on 50 million tangents. So welcome for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Not got enough desk space to <laughs> spread it all out. So um, while Em is shuffling and pulling cards, um, yeah. I'm just going to fill the blank. Um, I just finished reading Lessons on lessons in Chemistry. Um by Bonnie Garmus and it was really great so recommend reading that um if you're it's like a nice light summer read that has some a little bit of depth to it we like those so yeah so in the 50s she's a chemist housewife ish lady anyway let's go <laughs> I love your freestyle <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway, TV on. On. I'm like yeah. <laughs> shaking on my TV host personality. Oh, Do you know what I was thinking recently? Is like when I listen to the radio, I'm always like, I could do that. I could. I think I could really do that. And sometimes I listen and I'm like, I could do a better job than that. But then, but then I have other times where I'm like, wow, they are so good just to like constantly speak and keep it really relevant and you know that's like the key. <laughs> <laughs> that's who that's the key the keeping it relevant. oh the key <laughs> on a, like massive tangent about, about yeah yeah um but I feel like they must have to do so much research you know like constantly keep up to date with social media and um anyway the card that the card that um, we're we're pulling today is from the Starseed Oracle deck. If you have the video up and you're watching us on Spotify or something, um, so what I'm going to do because it comes with a really nice book, so yeah. I'll show you the card and then I'll just read it. I'll just yeah. read it from the book and then we can. The deck's by Rebecca Campbell because we credit people's work. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Um, and we can we can pop the link in the show notes as well because it's such like she's got yeah. quite a few different yeah, decks, hasn't she? You've yeah. got a couple, haven't you? Yeah, I've got um, one. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, Light Workers, I think is called. Mm. Um, that yours is Starseed, and there's a rose one as well, and probably yeah. more. But yeah, I love her her oracle. So, so beautiful. So the card we've got is called. Oh, can you see that? beautiful picture fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes in life so those are the prompts that we've got on the card can you show the card a little bit like closer like is that two people in the middle of like a cave of light or yeah I think so or is that like a woman holding a baby oh yeah it looks like yeah it does look like a baby or maybe a shadow. I mean, I think it's open to interpretation. Yeah, I think that's the whole point I think, of the cards. But um, I think right. it's um, actually um, a baby, though, because it says here, look, the great mother ushered you in when you took your first breath and she'll be there when you draw your last. She knows how challenging life can be, that being human can be lonely and confusing that the polarity and separation can be excruciating when your soul remembers the oneness of source. Mm. But at the same time, it can be incredibly glorious and sweet. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Yeah. Look, I don't know if you can see, but... Yeah. So often we see things as either good or bad. When things go well, we make it mean that we're being rewarded. And when things are bad, then perhaps we've done something wrong. However, we're all here to expand and grow. And it's through the extremes of life that we do exactly that. You're being invited to welcome the highs and lows of the human experience, to let them initiate you more fully into life. The agony and the ecstasy, the beauty and the bitterness. This life is but a single breath in the inextinguishable 
existence of your experience as a soul. The great mother wants you to hand over your loneliness, worries, hurt, sorrow, fears, burdens, and doubts, to lay them on her altar, to fall fully into her arms, to remember that while these extremes are difficult, they can also be magnificent. The more wildly the pendulum of your life swings, the more truthfully you can say, I've truly lived. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to leave that there for a sec. Mm. And then if anyone wants um, a mantra or um, something to something to repeat to yourself this deck always gives a little activation sequence so the invitation here is to to whisper to yourself I'm ready to embrace the extremes of my life I lay all that I'm carrying onto the great mother's altar and fall completely into her arms Mm. what's coming up for you I just want to go be in nature Mm. just lay on a rock in this pool of water yeah I feel like that's where I was last weekend yeah that's what I was just thinking where I am 100% taking you when you come visit yeah oh look there's like can you see up there and um yeah like a like a little yeah yeah stunning yeah this card is really resonating with me I yeah I I really I really feel I get so caught up in right and wrong and when something's not it's like the control it's like when something is not going the way that I planned or the way that I had visualized it then I'm doing something wrong and I've I'm really learning to be okay with with the unknown and the uncertainty but also to to know that there isn't a right or wrong and that there is polarity Mm. so with you know with you can't have you can't have the joy and the the happiness without the discomfort and the sadness and that's really a lesson that I'm learning at the moment yeah yeah it's um I mean I obviously believe this 100% because it's literally what my work is about to you know how people feel everything that we've deemed as bad and wrong to such an extent that you can then welcome in and actually properly feel all those emotions that we consider as good and desirable um and and as much as I believe it understand it and embody it it's it's also like you know um absolutely where I am um also it it's just and I feel like the card like ex- like showed it really well of if they're two extremes the further apart you take those extremes like the more angry you allow yourself to be what would we put on the other end of that spectrum like joy Mm. or like sadness and joy because we tend to put those on the spectrum the more sadness you allow yourself to feel, the more you're stretching yourself. And so the more joy you're able to feel because it it just stretches in all the the directions. And yeah, and I truly believe that that's how it works within us. Um, Mm, I love that so much. And And we do like, it's that, you know, when I say like emotions that we consider as good or bad, Mm -hmm. 
we've put that polarity on them Mm -hmm. because there's a shadow and a light side to all the emotions um i believe yeah and also it's my field of research in all the ways for a good while now and because you know if we go back to to anger for example anger is really creative as an energy as well um it can like be that initial spark of creating something big bold and beautiful to quote mm. quotes at the machine um mm, but- there's that saying isn't there um just channel all your anger into your creativity yeah and it well I would say it as like or I see it as let that spark it Mm. but come back to love when you're Mm -hmm. creating be well that's my you know our last episode was about our vision and mission and so my vision is for everybody to come from love but that doesn't mean that everything's sparked from love you can like mm. have a spark of something that comes from anger, but then infuse it in so much love that that's what people perceive from it. You can have something that's sparked from deep sadness and grief and then infuse that with so much love that it becomes healing for other people who are feeling that sadness and that grief as well. Um, and yeah, I just find looking at emotions from that energetical standpoint and that space that they take within us yeah I find that fascinating Um, yeah yeah and looking at it like good and bad I think is just so interesting because that is society's conditioning and yeah I was thinking about my mind went to freedom creating freedom and how ultimately like the opposite of that is control and Mm -hmm. you know you can't you can't be free when there's the control there and this card is all about letting go surrendering and that that ultimately leads to freedom or I I feel like it leads to freedom and so when I think about that I think about what's the opposite of that in terms of polarity not just control but also the conditioning and the experiences that we've had in life but also in generations like thinking about women and witches they weren't allowed to express themselves or you know there was never a freedom there and those are all these things that we've inherited and that we now have to work to to become free of become free of all of those beliefs and constraints and control in order to be our authentic selves and so sometimes there's a sometimes when I feel in the life that I've created for myself which does include a lot of freedom I feel like there's the wrongness there because it's also new like not just to me but to to in my line of ancestors you know it's like it's it's so so deep and that's when it feels like that physical stretch where you're like ooh yeah and and that's why I like the analogy of the stretch more than the leaping away from yeah because you're just like making that zone of comfort and that zone of possibility bigger it's not just like a fluke that you like jumped out and were free for a weekend it's literally like your whole being and the way you are in the world is so much freer because you're like pushing away all those constraints and that control and you're giving yourself more space Mm. and then in that space a lot of other stuff moves and it's that's when yeah it's about like letting all that move within you so you can move more within life Mm. 
yeah experiencing the stri- extremes of life which yeah. is yeah what it says yeah. here such a good card you always pull like the yeah most pertinent cards like whether it was like tarot and or this one it's just yeah 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 it gives us what we need to hear it gives us yeah. what we need to know and yeah yeah and well, maybe we should the... sorry go ahead no I was just gonna say I'm loving this Spotify question <laughs> situation <laughs> us because what I'm doing I... more work the <laughs> or maybe just on you know on our social media on Instagram yeah we'd love you to comment when when this comes out we'll share a post and we'd love to hear what this is bringing up for you and yeah share with us anything that comes to mind yeah definitely that's a job for me on social media don't worry oh, yeah. so this is a little behind the scenes all our really beautiful reels i have zero like input in that. <laughs> all ends and I love it because when uh, you come out, I'm just like, oh, pretty. <laughs> you know, oh, I thank you. On my feed and I'm like, that's yeah. a pretty real. I'm like, oh, that's my voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's us. <laughs> oh, it's us. Um, yeah, that's all M. So our really pretty Gridge on Insta is all Emily. And I upload our videos to Spotify and YouTube. And, and um, write all the copy for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's a little um, insight. I think, I mean, completely different topic. Mm. Um, but I don't know, somehow we'll make it work. But I love how with this podcast, we constantly like reevaluate and come back to why we created it in the first place and how our intention for this podcast was for it to be a creative outlet for us because speaking is how we tap into our genius and we wanted it to be something that inspired people and didn't just give like solutions you know just made people think and made like we wanted it to be a space where we can vulnerably share what we're going through and not just when things are fixed because we wanted to show like that authentic side of what it's like to run your own business, be a coach, work in like emotional development and all of that. And we wanted it to be really easy for ourselves. Like that was a big thing when we created it. And we thought that how we started it was so easy. We had a sub stack and we did moon mm-hmm. notes and we did, And we've just like been peeling back and back, like all the things that we feel take more from us than give to us and give to you. Like we're always thinking of what has the most value to others and to us as the ones who are creating this. And, and I feel like we're, we're in a really sweet spot and I know that it'll evolve more. And I love that we allow ourselves to, to do that um yeah I'm just really proud of us yeah <laughs> oh me that. too you know yeah. like how yeah we allow ourselves to like we talked about it with moon notes be like oh actually I don't feel like writing all that copy twice a month I don't feel like that adds so much so then we went just to audio and we didn't do the videos because that was less editing and and then it was like, well, actually, does that add so much? And it's always like the painful one to add in our diaries because it's never like convenient for us and allowing ourselves to drop that. And at the same time, we're like, okay, but what are the episodes that we feel like people resonate with the most and that we get the most out of recording? And it's the ones where we just allow ourselves to just chat, where we don't have a set topic, where we don't feel like we have to present ourselves as experts on something and we just allow ourselves to ask questions to you know just be curious about a topic to feel how it lands as we're speaking it and and the the podcast where we have guests on as well like I love those because we get to learn from other people and um yeah 
that was just like a little moment to just say that I'm really proud of us. Yeah, I love that. Me too. Yeah, me too. And it really is like everything we stand for, like the way that we, the way that we create it to the, to the things that we talk about to, yeah, just, it really does feel in alignment. And like you said, that might change and it's constantly changing, but excuse me, even just us like a year ago might have felt really resistant towards stopping the moon notes, you know, whereas now we're able to just let that go. Like on the theme of just letting things go and surrendering, it's like, let go of what's no longer serving you. And, and that's okay. Yeah. We might bring them back. Like, I don't know. We just yeah. we don't know. And it's okay. And I feel like this is really the space where we allow ourselves to not know. And that feels really comforting to have a space where that is okay. Yeah. And it's not like a hidden space. This is probably like the space where we're the most exposed Um, because we're on on video and we chat and we this is the work that we put out on the most platforms. I've just, yeah. <laughs> and this is like our most vulnerable, um, yeah, public selves, I would say. Yeah. It's funny how, yeah, I mean, like you said, this is how we like to express ourselves and our zone of genius comes out when we speak. And I think, yes, it is where we're the most exposed, but it does feel so much easier than trying to condense everything into an Instagram post, for example. And obviously there are ways to to do that. It's a different form of content. But yeah, it doesn't, what I mean to say is it doesn't actually really feel like this is where we're most exposed because it does just feel, it just flows. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting to think about. And I, um, and again, I think this might be like an episode where we ask more like coaching questions and stuff, but I'd love for this to inspire other people to have a space where they allow themselves to let things go, to flow, to make things easy for themselves, to be really creative, to be vulnerable and authentic and and to really show themselves and maybe that's launching a podcast maybe that's starting a substack letter maybe that's another instagram account maybe it's the same maybe it's just like having regular like circles or catch-ups or i don't yeah just this brings so much to me and i know to us and yeah i would love that to encourage other people to to just go for it to try something that doesn't involve like any extra costs and and yeah it takes time but you just like find ways to make it easier for yourselves so that creativity has a place like yep yeah (laughs) yeah an invitation and a permission slip in case anyone needs it (laughs) Yeah. yeah yeah that's it really um yeah even right now like taking a moment to think about like what is like your favorite way to express yourself is it through speaking writing um making beaded bracelets is it by you know being in nature and talking to plants and what's your favorite thing to share with people that you want to talk about that if it didn't feel weird then you'd met someone who had the same interest you could ramble on forever and how can you have more of that in your life whether or not it links to your work is so unimportant um just yeah have like create that space um because you have to create it for yourself sometimes it's not and that's okay because then it gets to be completely yourself like your space your way but if there isn't like a place for you to express yourself in that way then create it mm-hmm. yeah it's 
one of those times where I just speak and I'm like, I've got no idea where all of this coming from, but hey. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah. And with that, yeah, let's I wrap feel up. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and let us know if this, you enjoyed this format, if you enjoyed hearing a card poll. And I mean, I personally really loved it and I would love to do another one. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Even if no one asks for it, I will ask for it. There we go. Good. That's why there's right. two of us. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. My projector invitation. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And um, I mean, it's two episodes now where we talk about creating um, an episode with a bit more like of a a ritual and some some coaching questions to guide you. And so far, we've landed on helping you define your vision, your mission, your values um now like a creative outlet and how to stretch yourself really would love to hear what you would like us to speak to and then we can you know include that in one big app or do multiple ones because yeah we would love to guide you through that and we love like questions that we possibly didn't think about and um geeking out finding out ways to to answer that so yeah please let us know we'll ask you on social as well but you can always answer it on spotify you can't do that on apple and um we do have a youtube channel if you prefer to watch like full screen on your computer i'm just like please subscribe to our youtube because so far <laughs> i need up the videos for my mum. <laughs> i love it yeah all right. Well, have a beautiful day, night, evening, afternoon, everyone. And we'll <laughs> see you next week. <laughs>